Meet Thomas. Thomas was doing well and living independently at a retirement community until he got an infection. He was admitted to a hospital, then transferred to a nursing home for rehab. He developed severe diarrhea and was transferred back to a hospital where he was diagnosed with C. diff and placed in isolation so it wouldn't spread. Due to complications with C. diff, Thomas died three days later. So what is C. diff? C. diff is a bacteria that causes what is commonly referred to as the deadly diarrhea. It's typically spread from poor hand hygiene. More than 100,000 C. diff infections develop among nursing home residents each year. And one out of nine patients aged 65 or older died within 30 days following their diagnosis. But did you know 70% of these infections are preventable? As a response to this epidemic, the C. difficile reporting and reduction project was created by CMS in partnership with the CDC. The goal was to track C. diff to help the medical community better understand infections and to provide benchmarks for prevention. Quinn QIOs were tasked with recruiting, enrolling, and training nursing homes to report C. diff infections in the National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN. And here was the project timeline. After 18 months, the Quinn QIOs enrolled over 2,300 nursing homes nationwide. Alliant Health Solutions, the Medicare Quinn QIO for North Carolina and Georgia, was very successful, consistently exceeding project targets. And C. diff rates decreased. We generated an ROI of nearly 7 to 1. Every dollar invested resulted in nearly $7 of savings in Medicare healthcare costs for avoided C. diff infections. And we protected over 62,000 residents admitted to nursing homes, adding up to 9 million days of safer care. So how do we make this impact? Our success did not come easy. First of all, this was a completely voluntary project, which is always a challenge for busy healthcare professionals and a SAMS card was required to submit data. The process to obtain a SAMS card is cumbersome, involving a third-party identity verification and notary. But we still found the silver lining. Some of our best practices included over-recruiting nursing homes to combat a high 57% staff turnover rate and delays in reporting due to the complex SAMS card application process. Next, we built and maintained strong partnerships. And we were meticulous with record keeping. In a spreadsheet, we tracked data for completeness and the status of SAMS card applicants. And we got creative with our communication by using a stoplight strategy to ensure timely reporting. We sent a yellow alert reminder on the first day of the month and a follow-up red alert if they hadn't reported yet. We also hosted a monthly shop talk call. Lastly, we emailed thank you notes to each facility. And we're still thinking of ways to improve. Here are just a few of the dedicated nursing home participants in Georgia and North Carolina who got their SAMS card. Through this successful approach, we created a safer environment for our beneficiaries. Alliant Health Solutions is making healthcare better. We are preventing stories like Thomas's from happening again.